Okay, this is our first example. It says, you know, set up an integral to compute the length of the curve, y equals x cubed from x equals zero to x equals five. So the first thing I do is, you know, kind of draw a picture of it, and a picture of this thing over here. I'm not gonna say it's terribly accurate, but um, if you started at zero, of course the curve would be at zero. This is the curve we're talking about here. And if you stopped at five, this is, let's say this is five over here, well, that would be 125 now. All right, what does it look like? Sort of like this over here, all right? And it's not a straight line distance. And the way we're gonna do that, you know, set it up. We'll set the integral up. And we just cover these two formulas here. And let's write this down. I'm gonna go along the x's now. So the x are gonna start at zero. They're gonna stop at five. Uh, and then we have to write this, um, you know, root down. And it's gonna be the root of one plus, well, I gotta do something now. I gotta get the dy dx, and that's going to be what? 3x squared, right? And what do you got to put down there? You got to put the dy dx down where you have to square it. Let's put that over here. So it's going to be 3x squared squared. And what goes over here is dx. Now I want to just read this to you again. It says set up an integral to compute the length. And we're done. There's nothing else to do, by the way. Now someone says, what could you do here? You could attempt to integrate this. I'm not saying you can't. All I'm saying is they just actually set it up, all right? So we set it up, we got it over there. Now let me just make sure you understand what you're doing. Put it over here. I did simplify it a little bit. You don't have to, but um, see what I did there. I just squared it and you get nine X four. Not so bad, okay? Thank you.